Our next guest is a controversial comic that never bites his tongue, and he's written a new book called The Greyhound Diary. Please welcome to our stage, James Enman. How are you, James? How's it going? Hi, James. Good. Good to see you. Hey. Have a seat. All right. The Greyhound Diaries. Yes. All right. Now, you got on a bus. Right. Went everywhere you possibly could go? All over, the, pretty much all over the country. It started when I was in Omaha. I just picked up a diary and I started writing in it. And... Uh, I came to Kansas City, you know, because when you, when you have to fly, if you have to fly right at the last minute, you know, they charge you like 400 bucks. So I'm like, bus ticket to Omaha, Kansas City is like $9, right? So I'm like, <laughs> so, so I, I'm, I'm taking the bus, right? So I, I just, I bought some diary for some reason, and I start writing in this diary, and when I got home, I realized, hey, this is all about the bus. So I was like, ah, what I'll do is, instead of flying, because I had to go to Memphis, I had to go to New Jersey, I had to go to Toronto, and then I had to go to Seattle. You rode the bus to Toronto? <laughs> yeah, that's not the whole part. <laughs> then, I had to, then I had to go from, from uh, Seattle back to Kansas City. So it was all over the country except for the Southwest. Like, I didn't get down to the uh, Arizona part of the country. But, uh, yeah, when you go from Toronto to Seattle, it's a four-day trip. And, first of all, you can't sleep on the bus. All right, it's impossible to sleep. And when I was going from Toronto to Seattle, I didn't get off to get a hotel or anything. I just went the whole way. I was keeping this diary. And when you can't sleep for four days, you start hallucinating. <laughs> I'm not kidding. That's a drug-free high. And, uh, and, yeah, when I finally got off to Seattle, I mean, it was just like everything was like glowing in the dark. Yeah. I'm curious about what kind of stuff you, you think you were seeing. Uh, well, you know. well <laughs> the things I actually saw on the bus were, was crazier than... Uh, one time we're, we're out in the middle of North Dakota, uh, we're, we're going down the highway 70 miles an hour, and this guy gets up from the back just out of the blue, walks to the front, and asks the driver, let him off of the side of the road. While we're, on, we're going 70 miles an hour, and the driver's going, no way, you know, I can't let you off the side of the highway. It's like corporate policy or something. The guy's like, I don't care, let me off right now. The guy's like, no, sir, sit down. The guy grabs his hair and starts punching him in the side of the head while we're on the highway. <laughs> And the bus is like, Wah! and like everyone's like, holy crap! I don't know how he got the bus pulled over. They pull the bus over. They call the cops. You know, the cops throw him in the squad car. And then <laughs> the cops come on the bus and they hand out this yellow notebook paper. They want everyone to write down a, a description, a witness, eyewitness account, right? So I, you know. I made stuff up, you know, because I'm like, <laughs> I've been sitting there for like, you know, two hours. It's funny because right when they stopped the fight, because the two guys in front of the bus, they had to break the bus driver and this guy apart, you know, the bus driver snaps, you know, he's like screaming at the top of his lungs. He's like, you just put 47 people's lives in danger. That's attempted murder. <laughs> now we're going to be late. <laughs> and I'm like, the bus is always late. You know, what are you talking about? It's never on time. So, I, you know, I said, I know everyone's going to, they're writing their story down. And I knew that once we hand this in to the cops, we'd be on the road and the cops would be reading it later. So I made this story up about how the driver started punching him for no reason when he went up front <laughs> to help a blind girl study the Bible. So, uh, so, uh. <laughs> wow. So the inspiration to finally write the book. Now, when you first kept the diary, uh -huh. was the idea to write the book or you just decided well, later? I, I wrote, I started the whole thing, uh. Uh, and it was in an actual diary. So um, I, I found a, a, a girl that I was dating at the time. It was an uh, excellent typist. And so Did you when meet her on the bus? Uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> you don't want to date anyone you meet on the bus. <laughs> what, are you crazy? <laughs> so, um, so I gave it to her, and she types it all out. And I went through the whole thing and, and uh, edited it down and took all the stupid parts out. And I just left the best stories in there of all the things that happened. Like one time we got lost. We were in West Memphis, right? And the bus driver is driving around, and people start talking, and we're like, that is the same um, gas station. We've <laughs> passed that gas station three times. And we're, you know, something's, and you know, all of a sudden, some kid in the back goes, Mommy, are we lost? And that's when he, everyone kind of figures it out. This guy is lost, <laughs> right? And we were driving around West Memphis. He was looking for the Greyhound bus station. 
And I'm like, what kind of bus driver? It was the funny thing is, he actually pulled over and asked for directions. It was the funniest <laughs> thing in my life. You got bus, a Greyhound bus driver in a full Greyhound uniform stepping out of a bus and asking a group of people where the Greyhound bus stop is. <laughs> It was the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Finally, we found it, you know, after, like, it was, like, it was three hours. The bus was three hours late. Wow. How long yeah. did it take you to write the book? Uh, I wrote it over a period of time. Like, maybe it took me, I don't know, it didn't take me very long to, to write it, but it took me a long time to actually finally publish it and edit it all. You know, probably about over a year. I kept all the stories for about a year every time I rode the bus. But I did go all around in just a giant circle, you know, pretty much of the country. That's yeah. an amazing thing. Yeah. Greyhound Diary. Yeah, uh -huh. You can go to jamesinman.com. Uh, right no, you can, go, you can find it on Amazon. Amazon.com? Yeah, okay. Amazon.com. Just type in Greyhound Diary. or yeah. Uh -huh. Will you ever ride a bus again? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, you know. <laughs> you got to think about that one, huh? Uh, if I had to, yeah, I probably would. Okay. It's fun. You know, it's, you, people on a bus talk more than people on a plane. Sometimes you can sit next to somebody on a plane and they won't say one word to you. Right. But the people on a bus are just average people, you know, and they got lives just like, you know, I'm an artist, so, you know, and they're smoking crack. I mean, we get along, you know, it's, <laughs> it, uh, you know, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's. <laughs> <laughs> Give it up for James Inman, everybody. <laughs> Ray on Diary. We'll be right back. You're watching After Hours. <laughs>